back. Dollywood summer celebration kicks off Saturday, runs through August the 5th. So it's part of the park season of showstoppers. Emily DeVoe joins us from Dollywood with a preview of the very first show during their summer celebration. It's called Drumline Live. Hey guys, well Drumline Live is a really high energy show that if you've ever seen the movie Drumline, you have a pretty good idea about what it's about. But it's one thing to see these high stepping musicians on the movie or sitting in the stands at a football field. It's another thing entirely to see it up close and personal live on stage, but don't take my word for it. Brian Snell here is the music director, the drum major in the show. You are also in the movies. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Brian, what is it like the moment you guys come on stage? Um, it's, it's, it's muscle memory. You know, we practice hard and, you know, we put in hours, we put in the sweat and all the work that goes into it. But when, the, you know, the lights come on and it's just, it's just action and we just go and we just have fun, you know. Um, performing in front of uh, an audience in the theatrical uh, environment is a lot different than the football stadium. It's a lot more intimate and more uh, interactive. And, you know, we give energy, we get it back, we feed off of it, and we just have a really great time. How closely related is the live show to the movies? Um, to the movies, it's from the same culture. You know, we call the HBCU marching band culture, HBCU meeting historically black colleges and universities. Um, all of our members uh, are from historically black colleges and universities or have been influenced by them, maybe at the high school level. Um, so uh, it, 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 you're going to get the same kind of music, same kind of energy. It uh, doesn't have quite the storyline. There's no Nick Cannon and there is no uh, over, our, over uh, the story arc like in that, in that way, but it's more of a uh, musical review, so to speak, mm -hmm. and we just kind of just take you from different genres and different styles, and we just kind of immerse you in our world and, you know, invite you to have a good time with us. Oh, and I'm sure people will be having a good time. You guys bring the energy to the stage, right. and I want to get to this. You mentioned you were in the movie. Yes. What was that experience like? It was very different. Um, like I said, being a performer, you're accustomed to live audiences and the interaction and feedback. And you know, when you shoot a movie, it's like, okay, take one and you do the whole thing. It's just like some guys on the set with some cameras and all right, do it again and again and again. And they piece it all together. So it's, it's very fragmented. Um, and so you really don't get to enjoy it until you actually see it, you know, in the end. But it was a wonderful experience. We probably had about 150, 160 musicians that we recruited from all over the country. So it was like an all star band. And to see all these different musicians from different, you know, programs and all around the country come together and, you know, form a unit and uh, have a creative goal in mind. I think it never been done before. So uh, it was it was a very grueling experience, but it was rewarding in the end. Absolutely. Now you guys are bringing it here to Dollywood and they start performing tomorrow and we'll be performing several, three shows a day until July 4th. So you guys check it out. We're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. It's going to be awesome. You can watch their performances at noon, two and four on the weekends and three, five and seven during the week. The drum majors said no two shows are the same because they are always adapting.